mayor of Newark, New Jersey, Cory Booker, went above and beyond the call of duty last night. He'd just gotten home when he saw the house next door on fire, a woman trapped inside. The mayor and his security team didn't waste any time. They rushed in and found his neighbor in her bed in the back of the building. They got her out alive, and Mayor Booker was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation. He is okay, and here he is in our studio, along with New York, New York Police Detective Alex Rodriguez. Welcome. And also joining me for this conversation with her good friend, Yes, I said, Gail let me King. in. Please let me in. Please let me in for this. Well, I'm literally texting probably. her from the hospital last night truth, saying, truth, to, I'm okay. I'm okay. I, the truth I, is, you wouldn't have been here probably without her call. Yeah. Well, this is the thing, Corey. I don't know whether to hug you or say, what are you thinking? Well, you first thinking? of all, I, uh, my security you detail. You too, Detective yes, Rodriguez. Yes, Detective Rodriguez, Detective Santos, Duran. I mean, these guys were incredible. They got everybody out of the house. When I arrived, uh, we were pulling the last people out. And the mother was just complaining that, uh, screaming, her daughter was still up there. And it's flames. It's fully engulfed. It's, yeah, at yeah. that point, it was, it, was, it was pretty touch and go. When we climbed the stairs, something exploded. Right. And um, at that point, he started doing his job, which was to grab me and start trying to drag me out of there. And we had a little bit of a fight. And, uh, and you won? Uh, I, 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 <laughs> well, what I won. was the conversation? Yeah. Can't let you in. Uh, and uh, he basically told me, this woman is going to die if we don't help her. And... Uh, what can I say to that? And uh, I let him go, and uh, without thinking twice, he just ran into the flames and uh, rescued this uh, young lady. Most people in circumstances like this always say, I wasn't thinking about the danger. Yeah. I was thinking about the mission. Um, you know, the, my first instinct was when I got jumped through the, the kitchen, which was all in flames, I actually wasn't thinking. But then when I got there and I couldn't find her in all the smoke, looked behind me and saw the, the kitchen really erupting with flames all over the ceiling, that's when I had very clear thoughts that I'm not going to get out of this uh, place alive and, and got, as I told Kale, very religious. Um, but thankfully she started yelling out to me and I was able to find uh, her through all the smoke. At that point I grabbed her, we went back through, that's where I got burned and she got... Uh, Burns on her back. You literally picked her out of the bed. I, Where I, you picked I her? was not gentle and just uh -huh. sort of threw her over my shoulder and just uh, uh, dragged her through the kitchen, which was that was my fear. Is that I didn't think we were going to be able to get out through that kitchen. And that was the only way out. That was the only way out. I was hoping there was going to be a window in the front that it was on the second story. I thought we could potentially get out, but that's when I had a lot of clear thoughts about, you know, wh how we're going to how we're going to get out. So I punched through the kitchen and the flames. Saw Detective Rodriguez. He grabbed her as well, and we got her down the stairs, and we both just collapsed outside of the outside of the building. How did you even know there was somebody in? Because Hadn't you all gotten other people out? Uh, yes, I, I was actually uh, waiting out front, waiting for the uh, mayor to arrive. Mm -hmm. And um, I just happened to look up and I saw through a side window that the, uh, the apartment was engulfed in flames. Um, I started banging on the door trying to get the uh, res residents' uh, attention. And, um, uh, and they finally opened the door and uh, they had no idea that the there was a fire going on in the house. So, so this, there, were, there weren't even fire trucks there, so you let them know that their apartment right. was on fire. That's correct. It's incredible. And then they told you somebody else is still in there? Yeah, is that yes. what happened? At that That's point, I, I rolled up. I mean, he, they literally wouldn't answer the door. They're like, who is it? Who's banging on our door? He's like, There's, I'm the police. Your house is on fire. And at that point, everybody started coming downstairs. And when I arrived, um, we helped the last, uh, Miss Williams, the last uh, elderly woman out, and she was saying that her daughter was still trapped upstairs. What did you mean when you said they had religious thoughts? Uh, you know, uh, you, it's a, you're come to Jesus moment. Uh, and, uh, you said, I'm coming, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I may not be ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, I, I, it was a, a feeling of being trapped, and um, you know, <clears throat> nothing, I couldn't see anything but the flames coming out of the kitchen. Yeah. And I really had this moment where I thought, uh, okay, uh, mm -hmm. I, think this is, I think I'm trapped. I think we can't get out. And, and what's the smoke inhalation feeling? Um, you know, I, was I, wondering I got out and I just couldn't breathe and I, and I kept coughing and taking deep breaths was really hard. And that's why, you know, I have a, today I have a new profound, I have this incredible feeling, you know, yesterday all my problems were really big to me. This, yeah. today things feel yeah. a lot more clear and I have a lot more respect for firefighters. I How's mean, I, I, um, it's, it's going to be fine. What about the woman? Uh, she's, uh, she was very disoriented. Uh, we were told, we went to different, ended up in different hospitals, uh, that she had second degree burns on her back, I think where I was holding her. Uh, and she didn't have, uh, she barely had a, a, a shirt on, mm. so she had a lot of exposed skin. I came home and I didn't realize how badly burned my, uh, my clothing, my, no, my clothing Your was. Your clothes, okay. Um, so uh, so she, I got that on my clothing, she got that on her, on her body. 
Did you tell your mother? Is she hearing about it on the news? Um, no, I was I, wondering I, if you I, told I, her. Because it would be so like Corey, you guys, just to say, oh, yeah, I meant to call you. Well, you've scolded me so many times for uh, not informing people. Scold, yes, yes that's a good word. Is, is the right yeah. word. Uh, so, uh, you know, I was supposed to be with her this morning uh, to take, help her take care of my dad. So I called her late last night, and she was in the same mode as you were. She says, I don't know whether to yell at you yes. or, or thank yes. you, but I'm going to thank God right now. And, yes. and that's really why I feel very blessed, because as a fire director told us, anything could have happened. Uh, that those things uh, ignite so quickly, you're very lucky to have gotten out of there. What would you say if someone came to you before this happened and said, look, if there was someone in a burning building that you might have a chance to rescue, but you might also not, and you might end up burning alive? Well, I, I think your imagination is always that you would do the right thing. Um, but I tell you, when you, it, it was very different for me when I was, had left him, when he finally got him to let go of me, went through the, the, the flames. Uh, it is a very, very scary thing. And uh, I'd like to say that I, at that point I was feeling so courageous, but honestly it was terrifying. And uh, to look back you and see nothing but flames, look in front of you and see nothing but blackness. So I just have a profound respect now for firefighters. As my, as my chief of staff and others were teasing me, I'm ill-equipped now to do firefighter uh, union negotiations because I'm like, <laughs> give them everything. <laughs> these guys, <laughs> give them everything. Um, so, uh, but uh, look, we, uh, these people do this every day and I'm, I'm, I feel like we have a country full of heroes that we just don't this recognize. This is a reminder of, yeah. of people who put themselves on on the line for us every day. Thank you, Detective A. Rod. Thank, thank you. My favorite Mayor Cory Booker. We're glad, and the woman too. We're glad everybody's yeah. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks.